the Weller WTBR 1000 soldering robot tutorial on shift and maintenance counters, how to use them, how to reset them, how to change them, and make them useful for you. Now I've logged in as the user or operator and you'll see, you'll see the little reset button here is grayed out. Okay, in order to reset them, you need to be logged in as either maintenance engineer or the administrator. So let's do that. And now you can see we could reset that. The software is very flexible and you could use the maintenance counters for whatever you wanted. So you could um, use it to remind you when to change tips. You could rem uh, use it to remind the maintenance team when to carry out routine maintenances or just cleaning or, or any other maintenance you deem necessary. We find a very useful um, purpose is in fact the, the tip change and um, that will just uh, allow you to change a tip well before the tip actually burns through. All files pertaining to the wind control software are under the folder called wind control actual. Okay, and if we go into the wind control any file, it's the initiation file for the software, and we scroll down to the bottom, we will find here, it says counter station one, we get two variables. First is the counter for a warning. So when the counter reaches 2400, in this case, a warning will come on, uh, which the operator needs to clear. At 2600, the machine will stop and a warning will come, which only uh, will go away once the counters have been reset. Um, and these, the counters increment when in your program you have the term or the command uh, counter. So you can, you can select this number based on how you use the counter. So you can, you can either count per, uh, each solder joint, you can count each board, you can count each drawer. Um, it really is up to you.